War Diary Day 512 of Russia's War Against Ukraine and its publication day of Aidan Aslan's book, Putin's Prisoner. I polish the adjectives, but Aidan wrote it. And if you don't know the story, Aidan Aslan is a, he's a big lad from Nottinghamshire. He, um, he's bright, but he's, him and school don't get on for whatever reason. Um, and he, but he explores the internet. He becomes a kind of libertarian anarchist. He sees what Islamic State is doing to the, the Kurds and the Yazidis um, in Syria. And he's so sickened by the failure of the West to, to stand up to Islamic State. He goes out to Syria and fights with the Kurds. He's bombed by the Americans. Um, when he gets back, he's arrested by the British. <laughs> and it, <laughs> but his love of liberty uh, is still strong and, and good. And so Aidan takes himself off to Ukraine. Uh, he falls in love with a beautiful Ukrainian woman, Diana. Um, and he joins, uh, to speed up his citizenship, he joins the Ukrainian army, he's a Ukrainian marine. And uh, they send him off to um, defend Mariupol. And he has some adventures um, in like 2018, 2019, 2020. When the big war starts, he's in exactly the wrong place, east of Mariupol, just a few miles from the Russians. And um, they push him and his battalion back and back. They end up in a steelworks in, um, in Mariupol, not the one um, held by the Azov battalion, but another one. And um, he and his battalion, they run out of food and ammo and they surrender to the Russians. The Russians pass them on to their proxies in Donetsk, the people of this joke state, the next People's Republic and Aidan is tortured and stabbed and broken. Read his book, Putin's Prisoner. Read about what it sounds like, what it is like to listen to a man being beaten to death in the next cell. Vladimir Putin, do fuck off.